Hello again from our vicarage here in Facet. Yet another week in lockdown. I have to say I've now lost count of the weeks. Thankfully this week there's been some reasons to celebrate alongside the sadness of the number of people who've died of this horrible virus. But I think we're all really grateful for the reduction in numbers of people dying and pray that this sadness comes to an end soon. But there has been good news this week in the form of great community support, of these celebrations that might be different from usual but still commemorate that 75th anniversary of the landmark day when guns fell silent at the end of the Second World War in Europe. Good news for us has come that as vicars we're allowed to pray once again in our churches and to ring a bell to help clap for carers on Thursdays and to celebrate VE Day and other important events. Our churches in the Church of England are a physical symbol of hope and love in each parish and whether people around us believe in God or not, God believes in all people and loves each one of us. And that is why our prayer in each church every day is important. It's from our churches that we pray for the world, our nation and our community, each day for everyone. Community is so important too. Most of, most of us are just not made to be alone, which is why most of us, including myself, are struggling with lockdown. We miss friends and family, the freedom to go out and about, to work, outdoors and perhaps to meet for a meal with friends and many many more things. God made us to be with others and Jesus showed us a way of living and loving in community, a way of sharing and caring, sharing possessions that the poorest didn't go without, sharing resources and sharing care in so many different ways. And in a way this horrible virus is bringing us back to a way of life that looks much more like the community that Jesus showed us. In the midst of crisis, people are turning to a wider community for help and support, for shopping, for medicines, for physical, emotional and psychological support. And so many people have formed a new community. There's a new community of volunteers. Then there's people helping pick crops or deliver food and essentials. People ringing others who are lonely. And some have even come out of retirement to work on the front line. And then there's an online community of support with vital information being shared. Lots of new communities of people who are giving their time, goods or money to help others who are struggling. And simple acts of kindness are everywhere. From pictures in windows, children decorating stones, unwanted gifts being left for, left for people to collect from houses, offering swaps for food, all sorts of lovely things. This week too, there's been a lovely video circulating online. It's called The Great Realisation. And it's a man reading a bedtime story to his son. It tells of 2020, a time when a terrible virus arrived and saved the world from its self-destructing and selfish ways. It tells how the virus brought families together, made people remember how to smile, to say thank you by clapping and contact all their friends. It tells that some people started dancing again and singing, baking, and running together, and that the earth began to breathe again and wildlife prospered. It ends by telling us that after so much bad news, good news was in the making. And it also says that we all preferred the new world to the one we'd left behind. It's just a video and a story, but it tells much truth. And we can only pray that, all we, that we can all do all we can to inhabit a new sense of community and of sharing selflessness and kindness and love, things that have come about over these past few difficult weeks. At the first Pentecost, 50 days after Jesus' resurrection on Easter Day, the Christian church sprang into life. It was a new life based on the love of Jesus and it changed the world forever. This new life was based on a new understanding of God and a new way of sharing. The first Christians shared their possessions and food, they cared for the sick and oppressed. It started a movement of radical social justice where everyone is equal and valued and people cared for others, especially the poor. Pentecost this year will be celebrated on the 31st of May and I pray that the world may change its ways and start to live life again in the way that God intended. I really pray that 2020 will indeed be a year of great realisation and that each of us may play our part in making our communities and our world a much better place. Meanwhile, May God bless you and protect you and all those you love. Amen.